today I would love to talk to you about different types of bag and what ones are better and worse for using with crutches. I started using one of the crutches for probably about four, four months and then I ended up using two. Ever since then I have been really struggling with bags to find which one is better for crutches and which one I find more suitable for crutches and I couldn't find any information anywhere it's all been buy different bags, try them for a while and see how well they work. I'm here to share with you what I found out and what are the best ones out there to use with crutches. The bag I have is the laptop bag. Now you'll learn very quickly that I absolutely love Kipling. Kipling and Radley are one of my two favourite bags or types of bag and I found this one specifically at TK Maxx, one of my favourite stores ever because you can find some really really good stuff. Sometimes, admittedly sometimes but hey. Anyway back to the bag. Um, it has enough room to fit my iPad in there. Personally, I use my iPad as a, as a computer. You can fit other things like your lunch, some stationery. It's kind of a mini school bag or work bag or whatever you want to use. Now, I love I love this bag specifically, or these types of bags, because they can protect your computer or laptop, netbook, whatever you use, iPad. It, it, it's protected. This one here can fit stationery and other books and everything else you need in it as well. I know that some out there don't, but majority do. Only problem with using this when you're on crutches is that when you are walking it gets in the way. And it really does. <laughs> because it's a messenger bag type, it basically falls down your side and then you can't walk using both sticks. If you're only using one, however, like a walking stick or one of the one of the crutches then it works better because you can have it over the side in which you're not but if you're using two crutches it is definitely going to be difficult okay so the next one is basket bag now I love my basket bag I really really do it's really big inside it's got little accessible pockets that are great. It's also got a lovely material inside which is always nice and I absolutely love the colour. It's like light green. I'd like to say mint green but it's not. I'd say it's a little bit too dark to be mint green and it's got brown handles. Nice material with the brown handles. I love how easy accessible it is how big they are because they are quite quite big and how much stuff you can just fit in there is like it's very hard to find something that won't fit in them and they come in all different size ranges admittedly but the one the few that I've come across I've not I've struggled to find something that doesn't fit in them or fit in them nicely now to me they're the stereotypical beach bag but there are other beach bags out there. I have a I have an actual beach bag. But they're really they're like a nice going out hot day type bag. Now the problem with using these with crutches is the fact that how they sit on your shoulder doesn't really work nicely because you can't walk with them. They slip off your shoulder, they cause other problems by getting in the way. If you're only using one of the crutches or a walking stick it's relatively decent because you can have it on the side in which you don't walk with. But if you're using two I would not recommend these. So the next we've got is the bucket bag. Now guys don't judge me. I have had this bucket bag specifically for a very long time, at the very least 10 years. Like, I have had this for a very long time and I love it, but yeah, you'll see. It's a tiger one. Now, 
with these types of bags in general they're great because they come in different size ranges it doesn't fit as much in there and I've had it for absolutely ever I like these because they're easy to open they're easy to access they don't get in the way with walking not like they not like some bags do um because this one is a um rucksack type bag now the problems come with with when you actually are walking and have to get something out of them so they're very very easy to undo they undo themselves majority of the time which is a problem which if you're on crutches and you've got to stop every five minutes to do your bag up it becomes problematic now another one is that they are not easy always easy to find things in so my one specifically doesn't have any pockets that is problematic for me because I can't easily access my phone or have essentials that are easily gettable whereas other bags do. Now for another one of my personal favourites. It's called a hobo bag but I prefer it to be called patchwork. Now I love these I love this bag. I mean I haven't tried any of the others admittedly. This is the only one I've ever owned. And I did buy it recently. Um, now I love it because it sits on me perfectly. It's got a little pocket it's on the strap so I can have my phone sat there. It's got pockets on the inside. It's also got a zip to do it up and a button to hold it together. Um, yeah, as I said, it's got a couple of pockets on the inside and one on the outside. Personally, I just love the pattern of it. It's such a unique pattern and it's perfect for like festivals or um, on holiday or any other kind of unique kind of setup. It'd be perfect. Now I love the way this sits on my body. So for me, because it's got like the messenger bag type go to it, um, I like how it sits on my body and which is more than I can say for most messenger bags because it's got a really really wide strap that's not adjustable which is one of the downsides to it. Another would be that you can't really use it all the time although you, although you could if you enjoyed using it. I don't feel that I could use it all the time because there are some situations where it's not appropriate like going to work or going out that's somewhere that's not that's more professional you can't really use this bag it's a bit too loud for that another one of my favorites okay branded London it's one of my favorite bag types I love dressing up okay I love going out and having the right bag to fit my outfit so is my Radley London one. With this it's great. It just makes the right outfit. It's a nice bag. It makes, personally it makes me feel better because I have everything that I need in my bag. Whether it be for some girls it's makeup, for me it'd be my phone, my keys, my purse or whatever I'm taking with me. And it all fits in here it's just a nice feel to the bag and um, yeah I love I love my Radley London ones now a downside to this bag is that it does get in the way of crutches there's no way around that if you're only using one again it's beneficial because you can have it on this you can have it down the side in which you aren't walking with or you can hold it with handles otherwise it does get in the way but and it wouldn't be good for a long time use either because they're not they're just not built for that kind of thing and they can quite easily get scratched and damaged and yeah that's a, that's really the main downside to 
this bag. Another one of these bags is the duffel bag. Now I'm secretly obsessed with duffel bags. I really, really love them. There's no getting away from that matter. I really love duffel bags. I've only got two of them. So it's a good it's good going for only having two of them. Um I love them because you can if you're going away you can fit everything you need in them. They're really just handy bags. They're convenient and easy if you're going camping or going away on holiday or whatever you're doing. The duffel bag is a great bag to have. Now when it comes to walking or using them with crutches, I always get someone else to carry it because for me I, I use two crutches. I, it, it just falls in the way, it's also really heavy so because of my joints I can't have anything ridiculously heavy on them and duffel bags usually are so you can't put all of your like your phone and your purse, well you, you can put, the, put them in there but they're not easy to get out again so if you're going to need them to need them for use you can't put them in here and get them out too easily which is the main problem with the duffel bag. Although they have all these different pockets, or this one specifically has all these different pockets that you can put in them. My one here is a medium. I've also got a smaller one, which I use more regularly than my medium one. I don't have a large duffel bag because I've never needed to have a large duffel bag. Everything can fit in both of the both of the ones I've got. So another one of the types of bags is the drawstring bag. In other words, I use the PE. Now I don't like these bags personally because they if they get heavy they the straps dig in. They're not easily accessible. They usually don't have any kind of pockets or anything else on them. The straps are also very commonly break because all they are is a knot at the end of the string. However, they are very good for well, PE kits at school or for going on a day out. I personally wouldn't use one, but I can see where some people will because you can put everything you need in them. It's not going to fall out. The tops that you pull together are usually quite strong and it's on your back and ready and pretty much safe really there's nothing you can really go wrong with them they're simple and effective but I don't like using them personally myself I'd like to add about the drawstring bag is that they come in all different shapes and sizes, all different colours, all different materials, which is also good. Now, I've only ever really used mine for school with PE back when I was in school, many, it was like many years ago. So I've only have, ever had the basic, basic ones. Yeah, they're not easy accessible and they all, I, I'm slightly bi um, biased, I suppose, because I've only really ever used one type. But yeah, let me let me know how how you feel about them. I don't like them, but other people probably do. Next is the clutch bag. Mine I used for prom when I went, um, and they're useful because they can really make up an outfit. You can put small like things like your phone, makeup or makeup to, to you know touch up your makeup if you have to. Your phone, your keys, your purse, you can fit all the basics in them. I'm not really sure they do come much bigger. I think they come slightly bigger but yeah they can definitely make up an outfit. Now my one has a metal strap that comes off. I used it when I went to prom because it was just convenient and I didn't have to worry about cat holding it all the time so I had my hands free but I know some people don't some of, some of the clutch bags don't even come with a strap which again is completely up to the person who designs the bag if you're on crutches 
you can't hold and walk th walk with them. So if they don't come with a strap, there's immediate problems there. You, you can't hold it and walk. They also fall in the way because they're not. It's got metal. My one's got a metal strap, but they normally do sit down by your side and they get in the way when you're walking, which is also a problem. Personally, I don't use them. <laughs> I don't use this one anymore, I haven't used it in a very long time and I probably won't anytime soon. I can't say never because I don't know if I might but so far I haven't used it since. But they definitely look nice and you can get all different colours and styles and everything else. But they're not useful when it comes to walking with crutches. So the next one is the rucksack. I have two different sizes, I have a smaller one, which is again, Kipling, and I have two big ones, another one, which is Kipling. I personally find rucksacks are great if you're going anywhere out, if you're going just to the shops, they're great for every kind of use that there is. They're great for travelling, smaller ones are great for travelling if you only have to have the essentials in them. They're perfect for going for a walk, they're perfect for camping, they're definitely the biggest multi-use bag that I know about. Now, the problem comes for me with a rucksack with two crutches is that they're not easy accessible. They're not. They're on my back if I have to, if I'm wearing it and walking, then I, if there's anything I need to get in there, like my phone, I have to stop, I have to find some place to stop first. I used to have to take my arm out the crutches, find somewhere to put one of the crutches or both of them, depending on what I'm doing. If I can find, if, if I can find a seat, then I have to try and actually, I have to take it off my back, open it up, all trying to do everything at the same time, which is not always easy. I like to use them when I've got pockets to put my essentials in, like my keys, my phone, what, whatever, whatever is my essential at that time, I like to have pockets, but if I don't have pockets and I have to put it in my bag, or if we're going on a day out and I prefer to keep my phone safe, it then becomes an issue trying to get to it. Now if you're in a wheelchair, which I'm not a full-time wheelchair user, I can use crutches quite easily, but if I'm going on a day out or I'm going somewhere long distance, going for a long walk, I tend to use a wheelchair due to the fact that I can go further and be less tired. Now when that's the case, rucksacks are great because I can either have it on my lap, have put it up to the side of me, put it on the back of my wheelchair, whatever, whatever it may be. But with, but again they're not as easy access as other bags, but they are firm on your back so they don't get in the way which is great so it's a bit of a win some you lose some with this bag to be honest but again I still use all of mine I use mine all the time it's really personal preference another thing with the with the rucksack is that they come in all different shapes and sizes all different types all different styles so again it's so diverse that you can get away with a lot more with a rucksack than you can with other bags but with all of them I still find there's the same sort of problem with trying to be accessible. Now for the next one it's a good old bum bag. I have my, this, this one here I use all the time, it's my everyday one. Now, I am not a fan of the bum bag. I'm not. I don't think they look nice at all. Other people may disagree with me. That's entirely up to them. I just don't like them. Because I just, I just don't see them. <laughs> it's no two, there's, there's no way around that. I just don't suit the bum bag. It's not flattering on me at all. Whereas some people really, really suit them, I do not. I'm not one of those people. But I use a bum bag all the time because they are they sit around your waist so they don't get in the way. Or you can have them over your shoulder as well, but I prefer them around my waist. 
Um, they are easy to access all the time. You just kind of turn them around, whatever you want to do. Get, get out your phone, get out your purse or wallet or whatever. <laughs> um, and they, they, they come in different sizes. So this one here is really big. I can fit everything I need to in there, which is great. My other one, which I really love, is quite a bit smaller. But I absolutely love one of the main features on this is it's poppers. So you can undo it and do it up by poppers, which is great. I always found that quite quirky and quite cool. This one's a lot smaller, so I don't tend to use this one as much anymore. But and it, but it just shows that they do come in different styles as well. And they're just they're good little bags. They're not great if you want to go travelling because you can't fit loads of stuff in them for obvious reasons, but they are, they're, they're functional. They're functional over looks for me, but some people might really love them and I'm not dissing them if other people love them because I just don't. So the next one is the tote bag. Got some quite scruffy looking tote bags here. There's one. And then here is the other, other different tote bag. So I like them because they're great for shopping, they're easy compactable, you can you can just do anything with them really, they're not, you can use them for work, which is even better, you can, there's no specific use for a tote bag, that's what I love about them, is that there's nothing that they're specifically used for, like with a handbag or um, a clutch bag or wristlet or whatever you have, there's no specific use for a tote bag, which is great. So I often use one if I'm shopping, I put them in my in my bum bag or my rucksack or whatever I'm using at the time to then use when I'm actually, when I've gone shopping. I also use them I occasionally use them for work as well when I can't find anything else to put like my lunch in. Um, yeah, they're a great, great type of bag. Seeing that I find that they normally come in the cloth material, which is which is fine. But sometimes it can be a problem if you've got like if you drop things or whatever, it doesn't protect it at all. And I find another problem with them is that you can't walk. If, you, if you're using two crutches, again, you just can't walk in them. They fall down, they hit, they get in the way. They're not easy to work around when you're on two crutches. Again, it's better if you've got one. If you can't, then I don't recommend them. Okay, so the next one is the messenger bag. So. These bags can come in all shapes and sizes. That's a great thing about them. I've got many, many messenger bags. I've got a Radley London one. And I've also got a Michael Kors one. Now, I love these bags because they come in all different shapes, all different styles, all different sizes. And they're always easy to access. No matter what bag you get, it's always relatively easy to access messenger bag wise. And to reali the reality is, is that you only really get a few types of bags. Messenger, rucksack and bum bag. I mean, they're the only real types of bags that you get. Yes, other, other, other ones have other names, but they're really the only style of bag you get. Now, now I might be wrong with that, but that's all that I've really seen. Now these bags, some of them are great with crutches, others are not. The, the thicker the strap I find, and the lighter it is, I find that it sits better with crutches, but everyone, everyone's different. With these bags, most of the time I find that they do fall in the way of the crutches, especially if you're using two. As I keep saying all throughout this video that one of the two crutches, you can pretty much get away with most. You can get away because you have the extra hand, you have the shoulder free. You can get away with pretty much all bags. 
if you're with using two that's where the problems start because you don't have the two hands to hold on to things well, again if you're in a wheelchair I'm not I don't sit in a wheelchair all the time so people who are co consistent wheelchair users might find this not true but I find that most bags when I use mine for long distances can work pretty well now the messenger bag is one of those bags that I find works pretty well with, with um, a wheelchair and one of the crutches whereas two I find that it falls in the way and I'm consistently asking people to move it or I'm having to stop and move it myself or the strap falls off or if it becomes too packed it gets really heavy and it really hurts my shoulders or yeah there there are quite a few downsides to these type of bag and don't get me wrong there are some that work really well and there are others that just don't it's really what you prefer next up is the wristlet so I only have one of these and yes it's very very shiny so but yeah this is the gist of the wristlet I like them for if you're going out for the night or going out for a party or whatever you're doing going out somewhere posh going for a meal whatever it might be I like them because they can fit keys you can fit your your purse and your phone in there my one I can only really fit phone and keys or purse and keys whatever it may be my one's definitely for going out it's close to you I like the fact that it's always really close that you can't really go wrong with it it's consistently on your wrist only downside if you're using crutches is the fact that it gets in the way it doesn't stop you from walking admittedly but it just hits your crutches moves about in the way and you can't easily access it which is another problem personally i have never used mine i was going to use it for prom i, I decided not to in the end which I don't know why, I just I think I just preferred the look of the um, crutch bag. But yeah, this is my wristlet. They all come in different shapes and sizes. I know that also the very similar bags are called a pouch. Next one is my beach bag. Now, personally, the basket bag is very similar. You can use probably for the same things. This one has put it a little bit of a rough interior, so it's big. You can fit a lot more in it than you can my basket bag. However, it's not got any pockets. It's got nothing to easy access your phone. It's not easy to walk with with crutches, and it's just. I got mine from when I was on holiday in Malta, but. Really, it's just, it's just a massive bag, really, which I'd use to take to the beach. Some of them are waterproof, mine isn't, but some of them are like different styles, different sizes, different types, and, but I just can't walk with them. So if I ever went to the beach, I'd get someone else to carry it for me, basically. But you can fit everything you need in there. You can fit probably multiple. You can fit multiple towels in my one. You can get ones that are even bigger. You can get clear, clear see-through ones, which is which are also great. I don't have one of those. The next one is camera bag. Now I have two sizes of the camera bag. I've got my one that I normally put my camera in, big camera which is great because it can fit all my lenses. Now I'm not a camera enthusiast, but I have quite a few lens thanks to my boyfriend. And I also have a little one, a little tiny one, which is also another Kipling one, which I thought was quite cute, courtesy of my boyfriend again. Now the thing I like with camera bags is the fact that they protect the camera. They're quite robust, they're quite thick. They've got nice thick material. Some of them are waterproof as well or shower proof, my ones are shower proof. However, because they're the messenger style bags, I can't walk with them. And I can't have a camera around my neck as well because when I'm walking with two crutches, it becomes problematic and it swings back and hits me in the chest, which hurts. And 
they're just not a practical bag so if every time I take my camera obviously I take the camera bag with but I always always tend to use it in a wheelchair on a day out not when I'm on crutches because it's not feasible and not realistic at all whether you have one one of the crutches or two I don't like using a camera bag even if I only have one crutch because it again springs and hits my side which is not comfortable at all so I'd only use I'd only use a camera if someone else carried the bag or if I was using a wheelchair and we sat down all day. Thanks for watching so far. I mean, I'm going to put out more videos at some point. I have no idea when. And it's all going to be what's best to do with crutches and other things like that. But you can follow me on Instagram at Magia Maya. Or I have a blog which I upload, which I upload to, which is Magic the Cat and Me dot blogspot dot com thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon